Well, hello there, strangers. Yes, I'm back with another haul. Today is July the 15th. And uh, as I told you, I was going to be out of town for, for a few days and uh, on a vacation of visiting family. But I'm back, trying to get back in the groove of things. I did do a short of a, a meal I prepared this week. If you didn't catch that, go back and take a look at it. But um, I worked today, just finished that up a couple hours ago, and my groceries, I did an Instacart, of course, because work. I couldn't get out. I'm not going to go out afterwards. It's just too tiring. And uh, did a shop. I did shop Monday um, outside. And um, surprisingly, I have discovered that Publix is not as bad as people think as far as being expensive. I compared some things to Walmart. Not Walmart. Yeah, well, Walmart. When dixie was the way I went. And things are cheaper at Publix. Some things are cheaper than they are at Winn-Dixie. So just be some, be mindful of the way you shop now because <laughs> groceries are too high to be thinking that you can't afford to shop one place and another and you haven't really compared. But let's turn around and get into this. Here we have, this is kind of a, a medium haul, um, restocking the freezer, restocking some things in the pantry. And we will start over here. I'm going to make my Mexican bowls this week, I think. And I got some corn here, whole kernel corn and black beans. Um, got some bean sprouts here for salads. Gonna make some a few salads this week for myself. And I, I like bean sprouts in there. Haven't had that in a long time in a salad. So I'm gonna do that. Up here we have, tonight I'm making burgers and sweet potato fries for dinner. And got some uh, beef patties here. Down here we have our ground turkey that I'm gonna use to make the Mexican bowls this week for meal prep. Over here we have some avocados. I have been enjoying avocado toast. Spent the week with my sissy and that was one of her favorite things that she loved to eat for breakfast and got me hooked on it too. So have some avocados here, can put in salads and mix for toast. And what they charge in restaurants for avocado toast is ridiculous, but it is yummy. Back here, we have some spicy chicken bread uh, patties for lunches and snacks. Some uh, Tyson uh, crispy strips also. Back here, we have broccoli for veggies to restock in the freezer. Have some honey here pure honey, um, wild, wild for honey. I don't like to get the, the, if you're getting honey in that little bear, you're not eating honey. That's just syrup. <laughs> but you need to get real honey when you buy honey. Have some um, acai sorbet. I like to make me a, a acai bowl sometimes in the evening. Of course, the regular Dunkin' Donuts creamer for the guy's coffee. My son requested some uh, golden uh, double stuff Oreos, the, the gold kind. Not really Oreos if you ask me, but <laughs> who am I? Uh, then we have a half a pound of uh, Cajun turkey breasts for sandwiches. We have Kraft Deluxe uh, cheese some uh, mozzarella stick strings uh, for snacking some old-fashioned strawberry jelly and peanut butter jiff peanut butter and jelly that was another request of my son he wanted just to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich this week um ritz crackers 
for snacks and salads. Up here we have Chick-fil-A sauce, some Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I like it better than Hidden Valley. It tastes really, it does taste homemade. It's very good. Then we have some sugar-free G. Hughes barbecue sauce, the original. That's for me to put on chicken or whatever I want to eat. We have some pizzas, French bread pizza stofers. Here we have, a, and I usually keep a big box of ramen noodles in the pantry, and I we ate the last one. I think I've had it there for like six months because we, we don't eat them on the regular, but when you want some ramen noodles, you want some ramen noodles. So, got some ramen. Um, some chock full of nuts, original coffee, because coffee pods for the Keurig are just too expensive. So we're just using these little things and we put the coffee in there. Very, very, very convenient. Not as expensive as buying those pods. Those pods are not worth a dollar a pod. And that's what they're costing. Have some oatmeal here. We're gonna use the oatmeal for our oatmeal uh, energy balls. Of course, our normal water pickup. We have uh, one in the pantry. I should have gotten two of these because I didn't realize we were down. We had already opened the other one. Some bread here, buns for the burgers that I'm making tonight, and just regular old bread some apples for fruit and i bought a watermelon last week i bought watermelon and cut it up and filled up a bowl and we just completed it yesterday and it was so yummy and sweet i usually like to pick my own watermelons because not everybody knows how to pick one so but i rolled the dice and had them to pick it this time we'll we'll see how it turns out some feta cheese for salads and some uh, butterhead lettuce. That goes good on hamburgers. So here we have it. This is our haul for the week. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. It's a beautiful day here in Florida, Tampa, Florida. And we're probably going to get some rain this afternoon, but hey, it's July <laughs> and it's summertime. A little bit of rain ain't going to hurt us. Long as the hurricanes stay out and never come, we're good. Thank you for watching. We love you and there's nothing that you can do about it. Take care. Have a great weekend.